Hello again. For this question we have to find the cube roots of negative 8i. So to do that I'll just give myself a variable to work with um, and I'll just say uh, that z cubed be equal to negative 8i and then z will be the cube root. So do that. I'm going to write this in the form r e to the i theta and then I will put it to the power one third and, and go from there to find my solutions. So I need to write that in this form. Now r, when you write these things in this form, it must be a positive number. It represents the distance the point is from, from the origin. So if I, no, I'll come to a picture in a second. So anyway, the, the r must be positive. It represents the distance to the origin. So in this case, let's. this is going to be number eight times by it's a distance. Then let's write that 8 as 2 cubed because we're dealing with cubed things here. Now negative i we're going to write in the form e to the i theta. Let's just look where it is. We've got the real axis and the imaginary axis. Negative i is here. So the angle that we've gone through to there is negative i by 2, negative because we're coming up this way. So what we've got here is e to the i negative pi by 2. And then of course we could keep going round and round and round and round and it could be that one. Or, um, you can get your multiple solutions by that because you can, you, know, you can keep going round and round. So I'll just put plus 2 and pi in the end of that. So it can be that one or any of the multiples as you go around um, where n is a uh, member of uh, all the numbers negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and so on and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In other words you might write that as n something but z which is the, the integers positive and negative and 0. We've got z cubed is that. We're nearly there now. We can now, having finally got it all set up like that, we can um, take the cube root of both sides. So therefore, z equals that lot to the power 3 e to the i. I might put it all over 2 because it might make my calculations easier in a second. That's negative pi plus all to the power one third because I've just taken the cube root of both sides gives me that gives that cube root of that gives me that well, z equals cube root of two cubed is two e to the i Right, and now we just got to write down all our various solutions that we're going to get. Looking for cube roots, we're hoping to find three. Right, here we go. Let's start off and find them. So if we put n equal to zero, then we get z equals two e to the i. Now if n is zero, we get nothing there, we get minus pi on six. n equals one. Right now we get 4 pi minus 1 pi is 3 pi on 6. And let's scroll down a little bit. N equals 2. So, oh no, I'll do minus 1. It, it would be the same. Yeah, I'll do minus 1. E, I. Minus 1 in here, I get minus 4 pi, minus 1 is minus 5 pi on 6. Now let's just see where they are. Um, 
I draw a picture. They should be spread evenly around the argon diagram because uh, that's the way it always works. Right, the first one is minus pi on 6, which would be here. Yeah, that's pi on 6. The second one is 3 pi on 6. Oh, that's pi on 2, so that will be here. Magnitude is 2, so that's 2 going up there, that's at 2i. And the other one is minus 5 pi on 6, which is over there. Okay, there's our three solutions. So let's just um, write them down. We can use Cartesian form here because we can turn these into things. So um, the first one would z equals 2 into. Now, you just need to remind yourself that the cosine of pi by 6 is root 3 on 2, and the sine of pi by 6 is a half. I'll, I'll do the cos i sine stage first. So the first one, here's the first solution, is going to be cos minus pi by 6 plus pi sine minus pi by 6. And I'll return that into Cartesian form, which is 2 into, now that would be root 3 on 2, cosines being positive in this first quadrant, using the cast diagram, and sines would be negative, so we get minus half i, Two will give us root 3 minus i. That's my first solution. Next, if I do the, the middle one, that's pretty straightforward. Um, we also get z equals 2e root i pi by 2. That was the one here, 3 pi by 6 is pi by 2. And that gives us 2 times i. because the cos of pi by 2 is nothing and we just get sine of that which is 1. So that's just 2i. And then the last solution we get is 2e to the i negative 5 pi by 6. Now in this quadrant both the sine and the cosine would be negative so what we'll end up with using the same working as I've done here without writing it all down but I know this time we're going to get both negatives, so we'll get negative root 3, negative i. So the three solutions are root 3 minus i, negative root 3 minus i, and 2i. Those are the cube roots of um, cube 